over here in this session we are going to study about cetane number also known as cetane rating <music> We have already studied about octane number and octane number helped us with the knocking and the anti-knocking which took place in the petroleum. When it comes to C10, it will tell us about knocking and the anti-knocking it takes place in the diesel. Octane number is related to petrol, C10 number is related to diesel. C10 number expressing the knocking characteristics of a diesel. Now, before I teach you about C10 number, let us revise a little bit about knocking characteristics. What exactly is knocking? Whenever we talk about fuels, these liquid fuels, liquid fuels like petrol and diesel are made up of carbons. Now, these carbons can be of any form. They can either be aliphatic in nature or aromatic in nature. Aliphatic fuels are the fuels which contain alkanes. Aromatic fuels are the fuels which contain rings for example benzene rings generally aliphatic alkanes have higher amount of knocking in it now what is knocking knocking is a property which leads to explosion and that is the reason why always the knocking should be less in petrol we find out the knocking and the anti-knocking property of a particular petrol by the octane number when it comes to diesel, we'll find out with the help of the C10 number. C10, C16H34 has very short ignition delay and hence its C10 number is taken as 100. On the other hand, alpha methyl naphthalene has very large ignition delay and hence the C10 number is taken as 0. So over here, there are two different compounds given to us two different hydrocarbons given to us the first hydrocarbon is c10 which contains 16 carbons and 34 hydrogens that means 16 carbon straight chain and the hydrogens attached to it whereas on the other hand we have alpha methyl naphthalene it is an aromatic compound wherein there are two benzene rings attached to each other and on the second ben carbon of the benzene ring, there is a methyl group attached to it. That particular compound is known as alpha methyl naphthalene. Has a very large ignition delay and hence the C10 number is taken as 0. C10 number is defined as the percentage of C10 present in the mixture of alpha methyl naphthalene and C10. So whenever we are going to study about the diesel component of it, the knocking characteristics of a diesel component or a diesel compound, it is very important for us to know the C10 number of it. Diesel generally consists of two main hydrocarbons. The first hydrocarbon is nothing but C10 and the second one is alpha methyl naphthalene. And the C10 number itself is defined as nothing but the percentage of both of them with respect to each other. Let us over here first see what C10 is. In the middle, you all can see CH2 14 times. And on both the sides, you all have CH3 and CH3. So if we count the number of carbons over here, overall we have 16 carbons and 34 hydrogens making it a C10. This is known as NC10. N means it's a straight chain. C10 number over here is 100. That means... 100% of it is made up of C10. N hexadecane alpha methyl naphthalene C10 number has 0. Over here, if you see the structure, this structure is of alpha methyl naphthalene. I told you that aromatic compounds have very low knocking property, they are quite safer to use than aliphatic compounds and if you see over here alpha methyl naphthalene is an aromatic compound naphthalene is nothing but two benzene rings attached to itself so over here you all can see two benzene rings which are attached to each other and over here on the alpha carbon you can also see a methyl group attached making it alpha methyl naphthalene so with this the entire c10 number is explained and how c10 number helps to find out the c10 rating of diesel 
thank you